welcome to my video where we're going to be talking about the hormone HGH, also known as the human growth hormone. So to start off, I'm going to talk about human growth hormone for a minute and kind of its general idea of what it does. So first of all, it comes from a part of our brain called the anterior pituitary, and it would leave that part of our brain and go into our bloodstream and travel all over our blood, going to specific types of cells. Now, the interesting thing about human growth hormone, it's kind of different than other hormones because it's released in small quantities every single day. But we also have an increase of this hormone released when we're hitting a growth spurt during puberty. So we're going to talk about kind of the different things that it does, depending on whether it's a normal everyday function or whether it's happening just during a growth spurt. After human growth hormone is released from the anterior pituitary, it's going to go into the liver and it's going to release things called growth factors. And these growth factors are going to go to other types of cells, which are going to control something called protein synthesis. So because this is in red, that means it's a normal function every day that it's happening. Okay, And then it would be ramped up potentially during a growth spurt. So protein synthesis, we're going to learn more about in chapter 18. And basically the idea behind it is it's creating certain proteins. So for example, we have this protein right here, which is insulin, which is a hormone. Okay, HGH itself is another hormone as well. And when we create hormones or other proteins like enzymes or antibodies or things that are in our muscles or uh, connective tissue, um, we use our DNA strand in order to figure out what amino acids, which are the smallest pieces of protein we would use to put in that order to make sure that we're actually creating the right protein. So for this, we have all of these little circles that are different amino acids. We have to make sure that the amino acids are the correct ones in the correct order in order to make insulin versus making a different type of hormone. Okay. And that is what protein synthesis is. It's happening inside of our cells and our cells are in charge of making these proteins. So certain cells are in charge of making certain proteins and HGH is going to kind of start that process for the cells. We also make sure that we're doing cell division. Okay, cell division is when our cells get too big and they divide into two cells. So basically, in order for us to grow or repair or get rid of old cells, we have to do this cell division basically all the time in our cells, depending on the type of cell it happens quicker versus other cells, a little bit longer to happen cells versus nervous system cells and whatnot. Again, we'll learn more about this in chapter 16. And then during a growth spurt, it's specifically going to go into the cartilage, the bone and the muscle, and it's going to grow these things um, and make cell division occur in these specific tissues. And then we also can use HGH to basically take fat or adipose tissue and metabolically break it down into other things like glucose. Glucose is needed for cellular respiration, which is the process that we use glucose and we make ATP from it. So HGH is very, very important on an everyday basis, but during puberty, it's going to cause individuals to grow and get taller and all that fun stuff. So we're going to have two separate feedback loops for HGH. So what it's hap what's happening every single day, just day-to-day -day basis with our normal HGH feedback loop is we might see an increase in amino acids or maybe a slight decrease in glucose. Okay, with that increase in amino acids, that's going to trigger human growth hormone to be released so that we can use those amino acids potentially to make proteins. Or if we have a decrease in glucose, um, we can use the breakdown of fat to increase that glucose back to a normal level. So if we see either of those things, it's going to trigger this normal response for HGH, okay, which would go into our anterior pituitary gland and our anterior pituitary gland would release our human growth hormone, which would then go to body cells or to our fat in order to trigger protein synthesis or fat metabolism. Okay, and once that happens, that's going to change the levels of our amino acids or change the levels of our glucose back to a normal level, which will turn this system off so that the anterior pituitary gland doesn't have to release HGH because we just need to basically make proteins or increase our glucose levels back to a normal level and we no longer need our human growth hormone at that time. Now, during puberty, human growth hormone has a slightly different function. So it'd still be doing cell metabolic things like breaking down fat or um, telling the protein synthesis to occur. But this is specific to muscles, bones, and tissues in our body to making this individual grow. So this is triggered by androgen release, okay, which is a hormone that's released during puberty to kind of trigger all of these changes to happen in the body. So again, anterior pituitary is going to release our human growth hormone. This time we're going to go to bones and cartilage, 
Also, other cells are growing as well, but mainly specifically talking about the bones and cartilage. And that's where we're going to do protein synthesis and cell division specifically in the bones and cartilage, causing that individual to grow taller. So again, this would be something that would happen kind of in spurts. We wouldn't necessarily always have high levels of HGH every moment of every day during puberty, um, but we would be continuously kind of going through um, segments of high amounts of human growth hormone throughout the years that an individual is growing and experiencing puberty. So that's basically all we have to know about human growth hormone is our two specific um, feedback loops that we just drew. And if you have any questions, please let me know. If not, have a good day. Talk to you guys later. Bye.